RadicalPrep.com. All right, so we have a number line question, and this one says, which of the following number lines represents all values of y that satisfy the inequality above? And I don't have a lot of space here, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to write it down first. Let me click on the pen, and then I'll show you how to solve it. So we've got negative 3 is greater than or equal to 2y minus 7. All right, let me just flip this on. Now, to solve a question like this, what you're going to do is you're going to really just treat that like an equal sign, the inequality. And you're going to solve it just like a, a typical algebra equation. So I'm going to move this number over. Remember, I get all the variables on one side and all the numbers on the other. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides, cross that out. Negative 3 plus 7 gives you 4. All right. Now it's kind of a little it's a little weird reading it left to right. This is saying 4 is greater than or equal to 2y and we're going we're going to fix that in a second just so it makes more sense. Divide by 2. Now we've got 2 is greater than or equal to y and what I'm going to do is just to to make it so it's easier to read, I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to write y and since I flipped the side, I'm going to flip the sign. So that's that's a little easier to read. y is less than or equal to 2. So you got a picture for yourself if you're going to draw it on a number line and you put 0 in and there's 2. All your answers fulfill this requirement that y is greater than, or excuse me, y is less than or equal to, that's why you got to fill in the dot, less than or equal to 2. So everything including and to the left of 2. So let's see what answer that is. All right, and let me just get rid of all that junk. We said everything to the left and to the left and including two, and it looks like that's that one right here. Oop, I don't know why it's not writing, but choice E. 